I need sunglasses because the future looks bright. It is a wake up call for all young people, not only in Kenya, but the entire continent of Africa, and if it is so, then the whole globe. Young men and women, we are the agents of change and we must be ready up to the task. Today I say change now before the changes change us because the change must dominate all our territories. I try to be silent but unfortunately my ancestors could not allow me. Oh, young people, we have slept for too long and the time has come for us to wake up from slumber. How beautiful it is when young people unite and fight for the liberation of their needs and well-being. Young people, we have been used for too long by these malicious, egocentric and greedy politicians who don't have us in their hearts. They have used us to cause chaos in political rallies of their opponents, political demonstrations, political meetings, worst of all, to participate in riots, violence and these demonstrations. Today I come out and say, let us rise. Oh, we never went to school to be the garbages to be misused by these politicians. Young people, our voices can't be silenced or killed by anyone because we are energetic. We have the advantage of time. It is our turn to be the revolutionists we want because we are the transformative system of our society. In Africa, countries, we don't elect leaders into offices. That's why when they get into offices, they loot our funds and say young people should be self empowered Employed. When they fail to employ themselves, you go into their offices, you see all the people having iPads and laptops they don't know even how to use and computers they don't know how to operate. And there is a young man, young woman there with the potential and skills but no one recognizes their existence. African countries, we are the land of privileges, opportunities and resources. Young people, let us say no to that politics. Our battle is not similar to the battle of our grandfathers. Since they fought for the liberation of our countries from colonialism, it is now our turn to fight for the betterment of our economy. It is now our turn to fight against corruption, bishop and tribalism, and so forth, because we have a mantle to pass to the next generation. In one accord, let us say enough is enough. That world is a state of the mind and until we change our attitude as young people in Africa, then if there is fourth or fifth and even sixth world, we will be in it. Put this at the back of your mind. Knowledge is not enough to change our condition, but we need to create programs and systems that will empower us economically, spiritually, and mentally. All we need is courage and action. It is evident that young people, we are dying in the hands of politicians who are not leaders. And anytime leaders lose direction, they become servants. Today, we send a reminder to them, even the best dancer, must know the best time to retire on the stage or the best dance on the stage must retire sometimes. Oh, young people, we don't go back to slavery because the oldest slaves were in chains and the new slaves are in denial. And together we say no to denial of job opportunities. If it is job opportunities, we must because we have the potential and the capacity. Since the change can even start with one person, here I am ready for the time. Ask. My fellow young men, let us all put on our sunglasses because our future is great, our future looks brighter, and it is promising. All oh, together we can liberate our youthship in this nation and in Africa in general. We need the uh, time of changes. We need now to come out and speak for ourselves. For long we have thought that we elect people who are going to speak for us, but only to come to our surprise that they go there and forget who a youth is. They only come to us when they have lost election to call us for their mandamanos. Are we willing always to participate in such a things? When we go there, we lose our beloved ones, we lose our brothers, we go and destroy what even our little funds have been used to do. Like, let's see, when infrastructure are being destroyed during these riots, are, are we going to take that direction always? 
always. No, young men, it is not our duty to do so. Our duty is to bring changes and that is the task we are called for. Remember, you cannot lead tomorrow if you cannot lead today.